Forgetting your duties is not good. Forgetting things which are asked by your wife or your girlfriend is even worse. Today we will solve this issue and make our women happy. And, as my grandfather said, happy woman, happy man. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode around sensors and microcontrollers. Many tasks are recurring or can be planned. Most of us use calendars for that. These calendars also offer notifications which pop up on the smartphone. Good if you do the task in the next minute. If not, the chance it gets forgotten is significant. Primarily if I'm working on an exciting project. This is why I desperately need the small device we will build today. Its momentarily name is Reminder Device. It stores all notifications until they get confirmed. And because it is cheap and small, we can place several of them where the action has to take place. For example, our municipality has a schedule when they get our waste. Sometimes they get green waste, sometimes paper and sometimes cardboard. If I forget to carry it outside at the right moment, the next chance is in one month. But I must not bring it out too early because I live in Switzerland and we do not like waste in the streets here. Therefore I put one of these new reminder devices in our kitchen. Because I regularly forget to charge my Polar Pulse watch or my Bluetooth headphones before I go to the fitness center, I need a reminder device right at the charging station. One of my other jobs is to empty the washing machine or other small jobs in the household, scheduled by my wife. A third reminder device is placed close to the washer room. When I pass it, I remember, quickly do my job and my wife is happy when she comes home in the evening. What are the required features of such a reminder device? It has to remind me as long as I did not confirm job done. It has to get the tasks from Google Calendar. There my wife and I can enter tasks well in advance and we can schedule recurring jobs as well. Even somebody else could invite this calendar to schedule a task. Or you can use IFTTT to plan tasks by one of your other IoT devices. If confirmed, job done, the same job must not reappear. Single task and multitask versions of the device have to be possible. They should run off a USB charger. We need a Google Calendar, an ESP8266, a few buttons with LEDs, a connection to the Google Calendar, a sketch and of course an ice box. Everything below $10. If you do not have one, you can create a Google account free of charge. To separate my tasks, I create a new calendar in my account. Remember its name, we will need it later. Next we have to create a Google App script. To do this, we have to go to Google Drive, New, More, Connect More Apps, search for Apps and hit Connect Google App Script. Now we can go back to Google Drive, New, More, Google Apps Script and you see this page. Copy paste the script from my GitHub and enter your calendar name here. Save and run the do get function. The first time you get an authorization pop-up. Please allow and publish your app script as a web app. Because I would not mind if somebody else does my jobs, I select anyone, even anonymous, and press OK or update. Now I can dream of a kind person who hacks this connection and does all the unwanted jobs for me. For once a security leak would be a beautiful thing. Stop dreaming, Andreas. We have to go on. We need to copy paste the access code which is in between the slash s and slash exec into our Arduino sketch. Now we can build the hardware. I use a VMOS D1 because it is small. For each task I need an LED to show me 
that it is due and the button to confirm when the task is done. Because in a recent mailbag I got such cute combined LED buttons, I use these. The wiring for each button is simple. We need a switch between a pin and ground. Because we initialize these pins with an input pull-up, this should be ok. I had problems with pin D0 and D8 where I had to use an external pull-up resistor. With this concept we read 0 if the button is pressed. Next we connect an LED and a current limiting resistor of 50 ohms between a pin and ground. Like that the LED lights if the pin is high. The first version is a 4 task model. We cannot add more buttons because we need 2 pins per task and the WeMOS only has 9 GPIO pins. I soldered the 4 buttons together, glued them into place using hot glue and connected all cables to the WeMOS. The order of the wires does not matter because you can tell your script how you connect it. Here you find the LED pins for task 0 to task 3 and here the corresponding LED pins. The last part is to name your tasks. For example, flowers to bring her flowers, paper for paper waste, green for green waste and so on. I think you get the concept. Maybe you name the flowers task differently or hide this button. Otherwise the effect could be exactly opposite. As usual you have to read the safety instructions on the back of the device first. To adapt your device to your environment you have to enter your Wi-Fi credentials and to name the different tasks. Only if this task name is part of the title of your Google Calendar event the task will be set to due. The sketch is rather simple. In setup we connect to Wi-Fi and initialize the pins. In loop every update time we call Google Calendar to get all events scheduled for this moment. Then we do some magic, set the LED pins and every 2 seconds print the status of the tasks for debugging. Call Google Calendar is a little tricky because Google needs a so called redirect to answer the calls. Fortunately Daniel Willi wrote a small code which does exactly that. And the magic in manage status is written as a state machine. State machines are a perfect way to program complex things. We always start with a drawing of all possible states. In our case a task can have these three states. None if the task is not scheduled. Due if somebody, usually my wife, requested it. And done if somebody, often me, confirmed that it is done. If we have all possible states on paper we start to draw arrows with conditions for state changes. For example if task 1 is in status none the only possibility to change that is to schedule a task 1 in the calendar. As soon as task 1 appears as a calendar event its state is changed to due. This state does not change even if the event expires or disappears in the calendar. And for me this is good because my reminder device never forgets. This is the most significant difference to the smartphone or the PC where the reminder disappears as soon as I do something different. The only way to get the state of the task to done is to confirm it by pressing the button. Now we have to wait till the task in the calendar expires. Only then the state of the task is set to none. Without that procedure the task would come immediately due again which definitely is not what I want. State machines usually are programmed as a switch statement and can be easily understood and changed. This is why I prefer them over a couple of if then else statements. I agree this example here is a simple one and quickly could have been done with if statements. But I wanted to show you the principle with this simple case. Now you can do the complex stuff. It's now time to place my reminder devices. One in the kitchen for all waste issues. One for the charging of my fitness devices 
and one in front of the washer room. For the moment, I'm okay and my essential hotspots are solved. I'm sure I will discover more uses over time, always when I forgot to do something. If you have creative ideas for the usage of such devices, feel free to place it as a comment. Summarized, we got a connection to the Google Calendar for our ESP8266. Of course, you can use it for other purposes, also for home automation. A similar interface can be used to store or read data from Google Sheets. We built small reminder devices using only a few LED buttons and a Wemos D1 Mini. We used a state machine approach to program the logic and solved one of the most significant problems in a man's life, how to make my wife or girlfriend happy. For the moment, I called it reminder device, but I'm sure you will come up with a much better name. For my long-term viewers, no, not wifey. A next version could be one with a display. Like that, you could display all sorts of text and not only predefined events. Or add a small buzzer to reinforce the message. Maybe you fork my project? I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.